today on Running to Him. Family history is important because it brings the world together. Today's reading from the reading plan is Genesis 36, verses 9 through 43, and we'll concentrate on verses 9 and 10. Genesis 36, 9 through 10 says, These are the records of the generation of Esau, the father of the Edomites in the country of Seir. And these are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz, the son of Esau's wife, Ada, Well, the son of Esau's wife, Pesamath. I have two sister-in-laws who are very interested in our family tree. Both have done extensive work tracing out the history of both the Blanchard, my mother's side, and the Jacobuses, my father's. I also have a nephew who created a Wikipedia page featuring my maternal grandfather, Captain Phineas Banny Blanchard. You can go to this page by clicking on the following link in the text below. Why are some people so interested in their family's genealogy? Genealogy is essential because your values and links to the rest of the world are found through your family's history. The genealogies found in scriptures validate the stories found here. And if we are honest, most of us skip over the chapters like Genesis 36. We find their names hard to pronounce, and by the time we've struggled over a group of names, we're ready to give up and move on to more interesting parts of the Bible. But God has reasons for listing the name in places. First, by listing families in places, you can validate what is written. In Matthew 1, we're told of Christ's family as a member of the Jewish people. This fact is critical because Messiah had to come from Abraham to be a Messiah, Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. On the other hand, Luke uses the genealogy from Joseph to Adam, proving Jesus' general humanity, Luke 3, verses 23 through 38. Secondly, by tracing your family, you have a greater sense of who you are. Now, when I was a young man, the book and the television movie called Roots became very popular because they told the story of one man, Kunta Kente, who was sold as a slave and then brought to the United States. The book's author, Alex Haley, began his research to tell this family story from Africa to the United States. Finally, keeping track of how you became who you are can bring you back to understanding all humans are tied together with a common heritage, both good and bad. If you know that you are related to someone, you will have much more compassion and desire to understand that person, no matter how slightly you are related. It is when you feel alienated from the one that you're willing to bring harm to that person. You can keep your genealogy as a Christian as well. You can keep the names of people with whom you have worshipped, fellowship, and what a relationship with Christ. This genealogy will help you pray for them and keep you solid in your walk with Christ. Think of how special it would be to your children to share moments in which God has helped you through your relationship with others. Now soon, Tony and I will sit down and record our history for our children and grandchildren. While they may have heard some of the stories, they will be intrigued to learn some of the things which we have done in our lives. Begin planning the recording of your own history. Now it doesn't have to be a vast autobiography, just a series of stories to help your families understand where you came from and what you have done. You would be amazed at how just this tiny amount of information will bring you closer as a family and produce a more connected world. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at Phineas Jacobus at runningtohim.net.